Hi everyone, it's me, Jan Maria, and welcome to my vlog. So today I'm gonna show you how to make your own thumbnail using Filmora 9. Yes! With Filmora 9, you can make a thumbnail with Filmora 9. On my last video, I did a thumbnail using Filmora 9. So I'm gonna show you how. Okay, this is the first thing you will see when you open up Filmora 9. So we'll do a quick run through on the interface first to show you where all the important stuff is. So up here, this is the settings and all the menus. So you can see here, there's a media tab, which is where you can import your media. So I want to import mine. Oh. So these two pictures, I need it now for the thumbnails which we are going to do. So up here is the audio, titles, transitions, effects, elements, and different split screens as well. This one is our playback window where we got to preview and playback our actual edit. Down here is stop, next frame, and previous frame so we can control the playback so this here so this here is the snapshot button and we'll probably need it for later and obviously the big window here is the timeline so the first thing I did is to choose the split screen by my thumbnails I did choose this that and then you can easily drag and drop it down and then okay so now what I'm going to do is to change these colors or background so I will go to media sample color so I think I did here white and blue under so I went to folder I need my picture there I did cut my picture. Curve and zoom. Was choosing one by one, and just place it where you want it. So, after I went to the titles. So here you have a lot of different kinds of titles. So I went here, and I will choose my favorite one. This one. So I will grab it and drop it to the timeline. So now I change this text to how to make thumbnail. So how to make thumbnail. So I did change my font here to ink free. So and then I did change that here and I did change to block okay and this text down here I'll do the same thing change the font so and now I need the logo of Filmora 9 so you just have to put it on the same line from the start now I have this and then so now I will just need elements to make it more nicer and here you have a different kinds of elements to use and I did use the heart I guess it's in the hand drawn 21 this one so now you can see the heart you can resize it and put it to the place where you want it to be for example like that so the next elements you have to put it not on the same line so you have different effects from the element so now I have different heart and I guess I need one more for this space mm, I cannot see some heart so I can maybe put it like that so now I have my thumbnail but because it is actually a video editor 
you have to use your snapshot. I did the snapshot. Now it's here. So if you right click this picture, you will see you cannot forward somewhere. So it's not possible to do that. So now you have to do is remove all of this, click everything or control A and then delete. So now you have again an empty playback window. So now you can click that and now you have this thumbnail. So this is not the important thing you have to do. You have to view it full screen like this and then I did use a sniping tool. This one so snipe new and then I can cut it like that so so now I have it here then I can right click I can do a copy or save So now we will go to this folder and voila! This is now my thumbnail. Now you can use it for your YouTube video. So that's how easy it is. I hope you learned something from this video and stick around for the bloopers! Hi everyone, it's me, Jan Maria, and welcome to my vlog! So today I'm going to show you how to make your own thumbnail using Filmora 9. Yes! With Filmora 9, you can make a thumbnail with Filmora 9. On my last video, I did a thumbnail using Filmora 9. So I want to show you how. But please don't forget to hit the subscribe. <laughs> but please don't forget to hit the But please don't forget to give me thumbs up after the video, hit the subscribe button, and <laughs> notification bell for my next video. <laughs> but please don't forget to give me thumbs up after the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. <laughs>